Aloha everyone and welcome to Skincare with Hiram. If you don't know who I am, my name's Hiram and I'm passionate about teaching you how to perfect your skincare routine. So make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you can see my videos every single week. Supplements. 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 <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with this. <laughs> Let's talk about supplements, a topic that I know very, 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 very little about and really have nothing to add to the conversation around it in regards to a scientific helpful way, but I will try my best nonetheless. Over the past year, so many of you guys have been asking my opinion on certain types of supplements, which ones I like, if I don't like any, what my opinions are on certain ones. And for so long, I've put off this video because I just do not consider myself well educated enough to speak to supplement formulations in the way that I talk about skincare products. Because in comparison to skincare, my knowledge on supplements is like me. Very little. But after thinking about it for a while, I was like, well, Hiram, you may not know a lot about supplement formulations, which type of supplements do exactly what, but you can speak to your personal experience. So over the past year, I've been testing out a bunch of different type of supplements. There are ones that I liked, there are ones that I didn't like, but in this video specifically, I will be focusing on the ones that I did like and the specific one that has been requested more than anything else on my channel in regards to supplements, Halo Beauty, and what my personal experiences with Halo Beauty have been. So let's get into it. Right off the bat, I'm just gonna start by saying that this is not me venturing into the world of supplements. Like I said, I know barely anything. When it comes to dietary needs, any type of vitamin deficiencies, you should always be talking about that with your doctor. And if you are taking any type of medication, you should always, always, always check with your doctor before taking any type of supplement. I will only be talking about my personal experience Experiences. This is not telling you what you should get. I still have a lot of learning to do. Please do not attack me over this video. <laughs> this is just me talking about the products that I loved. I do want to also explain my relationship with supplements. While I believe that supplements can be really beneficial for the body, for the skin, I really think that supplements should only be used when you are deficient in something. If you're not getting enough sleep, I can definitely see using a sleep supplement to be able to help you be able to get the full night's rest that you need. If you are vitamin B6 deficient, if you're vitamin B1 deficient, using supplements to be able to get you back on track can be really beneficial. But chances are, if you're eating a really healthy diet, you aren't gonna be deficient in a lot of these things. And I don't think it's necessarily the best idea to use a supplement just because you wanna see better results. This is just my personal opinion, but I have seen a lot of medical professionals say that to where they're just like, supplements can be good, but there's no guarantee that they're gonna do a lot. There are possible risks with consuming different types of supplements and basically if you aren't deficient there's really no need to take them and that's kind of where I stand on this so while I did love a lot of these supplements that is not to say that I'm using these supplements every single day and every single month most of these supplements I used for a good month or two months and then I put them to the side and did not use them any longer and in the future I will really only use these supplements when I feel that my skin really needs it or if I find that I am deficient in something. Okay, moving on. So I'm first gonna start off with the Moon Juice Lucuma, 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 <laughs> I don't know. Super Berry Powder Supplement. Now, if you aren't familiar with Moon Juice, they are a brand that focuses on skincare, but from a dietary supplement way. You can find their products at Sephora and I would definitely label them to be a luxury supplement company. They like to do a lot of mushroom extracts in powder form that you can mix in with your coffee and your drinks. And while I did try some of those, I wasn't necessarily as impressed as I was with this product by them. Now, the Lacuma Berry is a berry that's considered to have a lot of antioxidants, which can be good for skin health as well as just overall body health. But it hasn't been scientifically confirmed that Lacuma Berry will do anything for the skin. While this hasn't been scientifically proven to have an effect on the skin, the reason why I enjoyed this so much is because every time I used it, I felt my skin look a little bit more glowy, a little bit more hydrated. And even though I do live in a humid environment where I do get sweaty, I think there is a slight difference between sweaty and glowy. And I definitely can appreciate a little bit of a natural glow, which I feel this definitely helped with. I also really like this because when you're taking a bunch of different kinds of supplements, a lot of them do not taste good. But the Lucuma powder has like a natural kind of sweetness to it, which is why a lot of people choose to use this as opposed to sugar for a sweetener. And when I added it to my coffee or to my tea, or just to water to be able to help me take down other supplements. It just added a nice flavor to it. But I will say it's a little bit of a steep price point. I don't know if I'm going to be repurchasing it because it's just kind of a nice add-on to my supplement game, but I don't feel like it's a necessary thing. But I really did appreciate the results. I enjoyed 
the experience. Next up, and I don't have the bottle because I finished the entire bottle and I threw it away stupidly, but it is the In Nature Made B Complex. This is one of my favorite supplements I have ever taken just because I notice a dramatic difference in my skin every time I use this. Now this supplement is made up of a bunch of different ingredients, but the main ones that I was impressed by were first niacin, which topically is called niacinamide. Some evidence suggests that this could be helpful in helping the skin fight against UV damage. Vitamin B2, also known as riboflavin, <laughs> riboflavin, <laughs> I don't know, which could help to maintain levels of collagen in the skin. Vitamin B6, which could prevent a deficiency that leads to a type of dermatitis. And vitamin B12, which there are claims out there that it could be helpful for aging, memory, and brain function. Now this bottle includes 140 tablets, which for the price of $16 is a lot of tablets. That's almost five months. I absolutely loved this product. I would take about a month using it and then take a month off and then go a month back on using it. And every time I noticed that my skin would look more glowy, it would clear up. Any signs of small little types of like fungal acne would definitely be less apparent on my skin. The redness would go down. And obviously I can't pinpoint the good signs that I saw on my skin back to individual ingredients because I'm just not that smart. But overall, I loved the results of this supplement. And it's definitely one that I plan on getting again in the future. For the price point and how long it lasted and the results that I saw, I was just very, very impressed. Now there are two supplements that I'm going to talk about that specifically have to do with sleep. Now you may be thinking, I thought this was for skin health. I will explain for each of these. First, and this is probably my favorite supplement of this entire video, is the Hum Nutrition Beauty I think this is my third bottle that I've purchased. Oh my goodness, you guys. There are two primary supplements in this product. The first being vitamin B6, which there is some evidence which can prevent a deficiency that leads to a type of dermatitis. There's also a belief that vitamin B6 could help with better sleep performance, but that hasn't yet been confirmed. And then melatonin, which is the most common ingredient used for helping people to fall asleep faster, as well as have just an overall more restful sleep cycle. Now I first bought these because back when I used to work like 55 to 60, 60 hours a week. There are days where I'd have to work from 5 a.m. until 11 p.m. I'd come back home at about 12.30 p.m. to have to wake up again at 5 to work another day until 11 p.m. to get back home at 12.30 to have to wake up for another shift at 5 a.m. <laughs> and let me tell you, my jobs were not just sitting around doing nothing. One of my jobs was me literally running around for half the day. So my body would be so exhausted and so sleep deprived. And I was really looking for a supplement just to help me be able to get a better rest because bitch when you are on the third day of having like three hours of sleep working those hours it's a lot and I could feel it taking a toll on my body and I've taken a lot of melatonin supplements in the past and usually they make me have a lot of bad dreams I don't fall asleep very easily it makes me feel so groggy when I wake up it's just awful but these are the only melatonin supplements I have found where every single time I use them I feel fully rested and it would help so much when I would only have three to four hours of sleep but when I would take these I would wake up and feel fully rested and energized and feel like I could make it through the rest of the day no problem and then catch up on my sleep during the weekdays. But what I didn't expect was to see an overall improvement in my skin by using these supplements. Now here's the thing, one of the most important things when it comes to skincare is sleep. You need to have a full night's worth of sleep in order to make sure that your skin looks and feels the best possible. And because I was going week after week of having this insane sleep cycle, my skin was starting to take a toll. Wrinkles were starting to develop a lot faster and it needed help. And when I started using this supplement, oh my gosh, it just helped my skin overall. And I think that's because my body was able to go through a better sleep cycle, which aids in the repairing of your skin and the damage that it's faced throughout the day. Now, am I saying that melatonin is going to help your skin? No, I'm not. I can only speak to my personal experience, but overall, oh my gosh, like these supplements were just incredible for my skin, for my health, for my sleep. I have not continued taking them simply because I really don't need to. I don't have that crazy sleep schedule and I only take these when I'm having trouble having a full night's worth of sleep, but they were my savior when it came to my insane sleeping schedule. And then the next one that I want to talk about is the Calm by Wellness CBD supplements. These were sent to me by Calm by Wellness. The primary ingredient these gummies have is full spectrum hemp extract oil and cannabinoidal. Now I'm not going to explain like the way CBD and hemp seed oil works, but basically there are varying levels of extracts from hemp that you can find within products. And a lot of times companies will use different marketing terms like, oh, we have CBD, but in actuality they only have hemp seed oil, which is good, but it doesn't have the benefits that CBD oil can bring along with it. But full spectrum hemp extract oil along with cannabinoidal shows to be the best possible 
possible CBD that you can find out there. Whew, did it sound like I knew what I was talking about? Because <laughs> bitch, I did not. <laughs> now I was specifically interested in these because I knew that CBD helps a lot of people with their sleep cycle, which is definitely something that I needed not only to help me sleep better, but also to aid in the reparation cycle of my skin. And let me just say, these were the final try for me in terms of testing out CBD oil. <laughs> I've tried so many different types of CBD oil products and every single time they give me so much anxiety, they make me have terrible dreams and none of them work. And I was giving these products the final chance to see if CBD oil would work for me. And honestly, they didn't. CBD oil gives me a ton of anxiety. I have a harder time falling asleep. When I actually do sleep, I have dreams that I'm breaking up with my ex. It's just not a good experience. But the reason I bring these up is because I was able to give these to my roommates as well as my coworker who absolutely loved these. They said that they was revolutionary for their anxiety, helped them really calm down, and they flew through this bottle. They went through it so quickly because of the positive results that they were seeing. But in addition to helping that anxiety they were struggling with, they noticed that it specifically helped with them being able to have a better sleep cycle, which of course leads to better skin. Okay, wow, that took a long time, but those were all of my favorite supplements and now I want to talk about the question that everyone has had for me what I think of Halo Beauty. If you don't follow me on Instagram which promo <laughs> you should. I posted about getting the Halo Beauty Kiwi Seed Booster supplement a while ago and I had my chance to be able to go through the entire bottle and collect all of my thoughts. If you aren't familiar with Halo Beauty it is the popular supplement line that was created by Tati fellow YouTuber who is just incredible. I'm definitely a fan of Tati. I've always loved her and I think she reflects a level of transparency that is honestly very hard to find in the industry. Industry. Now when it comes to ingredients, the ones that I really like are vitamin B1, B2, B6, which I talked about before. This is formulated with zinc, which can help the immune system, but also possibly reduce inflammation within the skin. And I look up to her a lot in that way. This also includes her trademarked Ceramide RX, which they say rebuilds the outer skin layer, increases the skin ability to retain moisture while improving skin smoothness is in as little as three weeks, which is a bold claim. Missy, that's a bold claim. As well as their trademarked Kiwi RX, which I believe you can only find in this product, which they say has 50 times the power of kiwi seed extract, it controls sebum production and helps with acne. Also a very bold claim. I also like this product because it is gluten-free, soy-free, sugar-free, cruelty-free, and vegan, which is definitely hard to find in the supplement industry, so I respect that a lot. I know Tati's vision with this was that she wanted to create the most accessible supplements out there that weren't just the Instagram hype, you know, the gummy bears, you know who I'm talking about, but just really accessible to everyone. And another thing I love about this product is that she recently released refill packets, which definitely reduces the amount of plastic production that the company creates. So I definitely appreciate that. And the last thing I love about this is that when you go onto the website, they have a clear description of every single ingredient they use, why they put it in the product and what that ingredient is supposed to do. And you guys know me, I'm all about brand transparency and focusing on the ingredients. So when I see a company listing out every single ingredient they use and why, it definitely commands a little bit of respect from me. Now, let's get on to my thoughts about the product. I will say, my results with this product were just not really that great. Honestly, I didn't notice anything transformational. That's a word, right? Transformational? Transforming. <laughs> I didn't notice anything transforming about this product. My skin pretty much looked exactly the same. I didn't notice any reduction of sebum production like I do with my serums and moisturizers that I use. My skin didn't seem to be any more hydrated. I didn't notice a reduction in inflammation. Honestly, the results that I saw in this were basically nothing. Like it, I just didn't seem to notice anything. I saw a way bigger impact in my skin using the vitamin B complex, which has a relatively similar ingredient list. Which brings me to my next point. One of the reasons I really don't like this product is because it's expensive. It's $30 for one bottle and usually your typical supplement or skincare product will last a good three months, which means this product will cost about $90 if you want to use it over the course of three months, which is expensive. That's a lot for a supplement. And considering that the nature made product is also relatively relatively accessible to anyone who does have different types of allergies, has 140 tablets for $16 and produced better results. I'm just like, uh, I'm gonna stick with that one. I understand that this is a luxury supplement line, which I mean, that's up to you and your opinion on luxury supplements. For me, if I notice dramatic results, I'm definitely willing to pay whatever price is necessary. Well, within reason. I mean, I'm not out here gonna pay like $1,000 for a product. But if I didn't notice results and I saw better results with a drugstore product, 
I'm going to go with the drugstore product. Ooh, I am low on energy. That was a lot of information. And that was also very stressful for me because I feel like I don't know shit about supplements. But now you guys know my personal experiences, the products that I absolutely love. What supplements do you love or recommend? Please comment them down below. I would love to see any more suggestions from you guys. If you guys haven't already, be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you can see my videos every single week. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Mwah.